Good morning, Year 3. It's week 3 of your home learning and I hope you're all ready to do some maths work. If you're looking at your sheet at the moment, you'll know that we're doing unit and non-unit fractions. If you're uncertain what a unit fraction is, at the top of your sheet there is an example, but I will do one on my board as well. A unit fraction is any fraction where the numerator is 1. And if you remember correctly, the numerator is on top of the fraction. If you do hear any barking during this video, it's lucky, he's very loud, and he doesn't like all the neighbours. So, let's have a look at the first style of question on our sheet. It says, what fraction of each diagram is yellow? Well, if we want to figure out the fraction, the first thing we need to do is figure out how many parts there are in total, and then how many parts are shaded in. So I've done one on the board. Now, as you can see, my one on the board is split into one, two, three parts. Okay? So my denominator is going to be three. Now, my numerator will be however many parts are shaded in. So let's have a look. One. So my answer is one third. One third is shaded in. Bonus points if you realised that's a unit fraction. Now, the second part of your task asks you to look at what fraction is shown by each letter. Okay? So, I'm going to draw a number line on my board. Using my reelette to make sure it's nice and straight. And my starting point is going to be zero. My end point is going to be one. And in the middle, I'm going to put A. Just like number 11 on the green task. Okay, so here is A. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out the denominator. Now, if you remember when we did this in lesson, to find a denominator, you need to count how many jumps there are. We do not count this as a jump, because that is our starting point, remember that. So, to get from 0 to A, we do one jump. And then to get to 1, we do another jump, so that's two jumps. So our denominator is 2. How many jumps has it taken us to get from 0 to A? Well, that's 1, so which means our numerator is 1. So the fraction shown by letter A is half. Let's try it again with a bigger amount of fractions. Again, using my ruler to make sure it's nice and straight. Starting off at 0 and 1. This time I'm going to have A, B, and C. So, first things first, let's count those jumps. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, which means my denominator is 4. So, A would be equal to 1, 1 quarter. B would be equal to 2 quarters. And C would be equal to 3 quarters. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. If you have got any questions, you can always ask us. Don't forget to email us. Moving on to the next part, the other types of questions we have. Draw fraction lines like those above to show. Well, if you had to draw a number line to show a half, you would do it exactly like we've just done here. You would make sure your line has two jumps and that you've labelled the middle for one jump, which shows you a half. Okay? So if you've managed to do this first part, that part will be easy. Now, 
For the next part of our task, we're asked to look at equivalent fractions. Now, this is a bit harder, but it's nothing we haven't done before, and I'm confident you're all going to understand it, okay? So we're going to start off with this fraction. Two quarters. Now, if we want to find an equivalent fraction, we have to times the numerator by a certain amount. So let's say we're going to times it by two. And whatever we've times the numerator by, we also have to times the denominator by. So we're going to times the 4 by 2. Okay. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. So that means 2 quarters is equivalent to 4 8. Now, we don't have to just times to find equivalent fractions. We could also divide. 2 and 4 can both be divided by 2. So let's see what that gives us. We're going to go backwards this time. So divided by 2. And whatever we do to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So that's also going to be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is so that means 2 quarters is also equivalent to a half. So a half is the same as 2 quarters and the same as 4 eighths. So that should help you with your work for the next part. Same example if we had 4 fifths. If I said to you, is 8 tenths an equivalent fraction, you could say, well, yes, Mr. Grokar, because if I times 4 by 2, I get 8, and if I times 5 by 2, I get 10. So 4 fifths is the same as 8 tenths. You're then asked to look at drawing a pair of diagrams to show these equivalent fractions, okay? So the first one says 1 half and 4 eighths. Oh, we've done a half and four eighths already. So we already know they're equivalent fractions. So let's look at drawing a diagram for them. So, one half and four eighths. Okay, so, to make a diagram for a half, let's say I'm going to use my ruler, I'm going to do four squares across, so it's nice and clear. Four squares down. Two, three, four. Cross again. And back. Okay. So now I want to split that in half. Well, I've got four squares. Half of four is two, so I'm going to split it down the middle. And then because I want to show a half, I'm going to shade in half of it. Okay. You'll be much neater than I am because you're much better at art than I am. Now I want to do the same for four eighths. So again, I could do four across, four down, down again. And across again. Only this time I want to split it into four parts. So I'm going to have one, two, three, and four. And Mr. Grocott's done that wrong. Okay. Why has he done it wrong? Because he's drawn four parts when he should have drawn eight parts because the denominator is eight. Well done if you notice that mistake at home. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to double it. Okay. 
two, make the diagram a bit bigger. I could split the current diagram in half again, but then it would be quite small and difficult to see. Okay, so. Check I've got eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I want to shade in four because four is my numerator. Again, yours will be much neater than mine. But now I have two diagrams that show one half is the same as four eighths. So I hope this helps you all. If you have any questions, feel free to email. And best of luck with your work today. Bye.